Welcome to the August 2017 edition of Core Safety TV. Headlining our news this month, another company has received Core Safety Independent Certification. Dino Nobel Incorporated is a mining industry supplier contractor that provides a full range of explosives, products, and services. They focus on helping mining companies of all sizes to achieve their blasting needs at both surface mines and underground mines, covering the full range of metals and minerals. Dino Nobel is the first non-mining principal organization to receive core safety certification. Lance Tinney is their Senior Vice President of Health, Safety, Environment and Human Resources. We're very proud to be a part of the Core Safety Certification family. It's, core Safety was an excellent fit for us. The fact that it did stress the importance of leadership at all levels and the importance of building a strong safety culture, those were two of the things that were particularly appealing to us. What happens once a company becomes Core Safety certified? Down on a bell, plans to continue doing what it takes to achieve the 055 objective of zero fatalities, a 50% reduction in injuries in five years. Core Safety has built an ability to apply the PDCA or Plan Do Check Act approach to continuous improvement. And so safety is a, a, a never ending journey. There's always something to learn, always something to improve, and always something to do better. Until we achieve zero harm and stay at zero harm, that will always be the case. Dino Nobel Incorporated is the sixth company to reach independent certification for core safety. The core safety framework includes a safety and health management system based on three core organizational competencies, leadership, management, and assurance. There are four steps in getting started with core safety. Step one, gain systems knowledge. Step two, define the system. Step three, develop the basic structure. And step four, assign responsibilities and fix accountabilities. As Lance Tenney from Dino to Bell mentioned, this is all managed through continual improvement processes. Plan, do, check, and act. If you're just beginning to learn about core safety for the first time, you can discover more about plan, do, check, act, and how to get started with everything at www.coresafety.org. And if you're committed to reaching the 055 objective in your mining company, you'll find the resources you need in core safety to help bring it into the culture of your organization. Dr. Michael Karmas is one of many leading experts who see the value that core safety brings to the industry. So I think it is a wonderful program. It aligns all implementations of health and safety aspects that are out there and feeds on the leadership and culture of the organization, the management and responsibility within the organization, and the fact that we all recognize whatever we do can always be improved. That's where the assurance comes through. So really quite, in my view, unique program. Finally today, our core four special tips this month have to do with responsibility and accountability. Tip number one, make sure everyone is aware of and acknowledges their safety and health management responsibilities. Tip number two, determine what will happen if a person achieves or fails to achieve expectations. Tip number three, provide time, knowledge, and resources for everyone to complete their safety and health responsibilities. And tip number four, assess performances, provide feedback, and apply consequences as needed on a consistent basis. Remember, employees are responsible for their own safety and for looking out for the safety of coworkers. However, structured accountability also ensures that they live up to their responsibilities through positive and negative consequences. This requires authority on the part of the mining operation leaders. For Core Safety TV and the National Mining Association, I'm Nelson Duffel. Thanks for watching. To share one of your safety stories, videos, or photos, email us at info at coresafetytv.org.